The theological insights of John Scotus Regina are formative to the theological theory of pandeism. Working in the 9th century AD, Regina was the first to propose not only that God became our universe, but, in an even more revolutionary arc, that God did so intently in order to attain knowledge which otherwise remained beyond its grasp. In his greatest work, The Division of Nature, Regina wrote, quote, When we hear that God makes all things, we should understand nothing else but that God is in all things, i.e. is the essence of all things. For he alone truly is, and everything which is truly said to be in those things which are, is God alone. End quote. The nature of the Originian universe is divisible into four distinct classes. First, that which creates and is not created. Second, that which is created and creates. Third, that which is created and does not create. Fourth, that which neither is created nor creates. Regina depicts God as an evolving being, developing through those four forms, the third of which is recognizable as the pandeistic model. In the first, we see God in its existence prior to the creation of anything, God in its natural state as the ground or origin of all things, but needs to pass through the others to attain knowledge of a self too abstract to be understood. The final form is the converse of this, God as the end result of all things, the point to which everything which has been created returns from whence it came. In the end, finds a Regina, God has contentment, and is static, having fulfilled its needs through the passage of those interim steps. The logic of a Regina's analysis is inspirational for pandeism.